It's a lie! Cause his head's too fat to fit one. You know what we gotta do is turn the key. It's happening! Beauty is only skin deep. Ugly goes to the bone. <laughs>
the oil. Sounds okay enough. Oil pressure jumped up. But let's put it in gear and see what happens here. Oh, I'm in reverse. Get away from the old cabin there and see what we got going on. There was a time where the radiator in this thing blew up. I had to go save him. Went and got it. He bought a new radiator. Went to put it in. Decided to check the oil for him. And this takes five quarts, mind you. I had to add four. And when I made the trade for this, I checked the oil. I'll show you. It's a 5.9, 360. Here is our dipstick. And that's, I don't know if y'all could see. Well, looks that way because it's, safe. it's not safe. There's none in it. Well, there's obviously some. And it wasn't shifting good on the drive over. And I'm like, hey, what's this? He said, oh, the trans I told you was sus. You're supposed to check this thing in neutral idling. Ooh, look at the fluid. Looks about like the asphalt. Ugh. That's a good thing. So I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with this truck. I think we need to see if the trains will come around first. Now there's some coolant in there. That's good. So let's uh let's rebuild the trains. Let's just do it and be done with it. I picked up some trans rebuild fluid at my local Napa. Ah. So we're just going to rebuild it really quick and hope for the best. Funny part is, my brother did rebuild the trans five years ago ish. So it's had some miles put on it since then. But uh, I think we can make it come around. That's my hope, anyway. Mm-hmm. 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 The goo is good. We ought to change the oil. That's probably a good idea. So this is my first YouTube video in probably two weeks. I do apologize for the delay in videos. A few fortunate events and just being plain busy with work have uh, kept me a little bit at bay. But don't worry, we aren't going anywhere. Sometimes life throws you lemonade and you eat curveballs, you know? That's what, that's what my grandpa would tell me. Fun fact, I've met John Conley. He was a solid guy, you know? The rose-colored glasses hiding behind the truth. I could sing better. I'm just self-conscious. Well, well, we'll check back when this is done. Bottom side here. We've been leaking a little oil. And we've been leaking a little trans fluid. So it explains why there ain't much in the trans. We got new shocks. New sway bar end links and new ball joints. He did tell me he had a bunch of front end work done, but the alignment couldn't be done because of, I don't know. So let's see if we have oil in the old truck here. Ooh. 
Yep. 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 Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yep. Wow, we're already we're already there. So it has a uh, once again has a quart in it. Wow. Uh, this is why you check your oil. You don't get your oil changed. You check your oil and add oil. This is just lovely, isn't it? We'll get our filter changed real quick and uh, add an adequate amount of oil. Oh, Lord. So let's see what this looks like in the daylight here. Does that look like five quarts to you? Nope, not at all. The trans is officially rebuilt. We just need to test drive it. And we're going today with House Margarita 1030. Good enough for what it is. It's oil, better than what was in it. Don't you agree? Think she'll be a lot happier. And hopefully, the trans will just fix itself and we could just breathe easy for a little bit. So we decide what to do with this truck. I'm kind of thinking SRT 10, eight, whatever the truck are, truck is, wheels or some newer wheels, lowered, clean it up, maybe a little loud exhaust and leave it alone. I did change the filter too. Also house margarita, but not on the house. By the way, too, this filter, way too small. Not what it calls for. Can I muster this? Oh, yeah. All day. I tried, I almost had it. I just wanna do a little comparison here to see how much oil was actually in it. That's close enough. We are at, oh, okay. We're more than we were, we're at two and a half quarts. It takes five. Better than before when there was literally one. I'll go for this in the hole. You're gonna put that in the hole? Yeah. Let me see. Good job. Literally, I didn't prompt that. He did that 100% by his own accord. He got up here and he did it. This is what you papas and mothers need to do. I can't go. Go the other way. way. Yes, sir. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five. This right here. That's what makes it all worth it for me. Well, before I cry, let's let's start this stinking truck. <laughs> me. Well, actually, for okay, I'm not gonna cry anymore. Um, let's check the oil. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells fresh. Well, now let's start it and see if just let it. Eat for a second. Oh look, how to ride here the whole time. Alright, good job. Alright. We are started and happy. Check the oil looks good. Now we need to go on a test drive and see if the trans is big. Or if we need to add more fluid or who knows what. So climb aboard and let's go. Do we have air conditioner? Yes. Oh, yes. He would complain, though, that, the, that it wouldn't blow when you're accelerating, but that's just these little check valves, because all these blend doors are vacuum powered. There's check valves in the lines on these Dodges. 
Oh, score? Looky here, guy. Money. Monies. Yeah, um, and those go. Two twenty-one. Oh, it's hot monies. No. Two twenty-one. Do we have this? Oh, we do. Oh yes. We haven't had rain in a long time down here in Pipe Creek, Texas. So uh, things are pretty dusty. See how she does on the road. Reverse. Engage. Drive. Oh yeah, we have drive. Before, <laughs> we wouldn't always have drive. It was drive clunk. Hopefully it was just low on fluid. He did drive it around that way for a while. So that's a plus. Oh yeah. No, we aren't gonna pull a trailer. Oh yeah. We feel a lot better so far. We'll see. We'll see how she does here on the road. Look at that long highway. Reminds me of a country song. It goes right down on the road. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. Yep, those check valves are not checking. It pulls right a good bit. parts it just needs an alignment as far as I know this truck was so nice five years ago but we're gonna make it great again yeah. I don't mean to offend anyone hmm. or not but your choice but we know mine this is back to I, right here. let's get back to the truck doing pretty good no clunking we slowed down to turn around all that was fine and dandy she wants to pull real bad right we'll get it let's slow down and see oh brakes feel real good there's been times I've rode in this truck with my buddy who had it, and uh, yeah. Brakes were grinding. Okay, no clunk. So far, so good. There must be a birthday party at my nice neighbors. We won't talk about them. Cops know enough about them. Should we floor it? Yeah. Oh yeah, the old five nine still got it. Yeah, Dang! Got We're gonna jump! <laughs> Was that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Look at what somebody did in my fence. Yeah. Too bad I don't know any fence builders. Can I make a for him? For me. It's our fence guy. Okay. All right. I think the trans is fixed. I think we were just low on fluid. Yeah. So now what we need to do is go ahead and wash the old pick em up truck. Which it needs bad. I mean, we need a full on detail. Let's do that. Let's stick it so stay tuned and uh, we'll move on to that. Hello. What is even going on here? You can see the dog hair and just the goo and the poo and yeah. She's a little stinky. Ugh. Dog used to be my dog, funny enough. We found her on the side of the road. Dang, how's the radio box still? Carpet's clean under there. And there's oil in there that he could have so easily put in it. Scratch marks. 
from the perrita. And here is a trans receipt. And let's see. That was at 152,000 miles in 2019. And now it has 221. So that's a little ways. That's somewhere, but not hardware. Hardware. Hmm. Is that poop? What is that? It might be poop with all the toilet paper in here. I'm like in there? Like what's all what's all that? Oh, we have our work cut out for us. Before we wash, though, all good things must come to, come to an end. And uh, well, let's hope I didn't bite my fingernails too bad, because we're going to need them. So small hiccup, kind of inevitable, unfortunately. So this truck has definitely been repainted. It's not all already got all perfect paint. Looky here. We're just ripping off clear coat, which sucks. But there's no way to avoid it. So that, there's red clear coat. There's missing clear coat. <laughs> Yeah, it's, oh wait, 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 wait. Right there, it's still there. Yeah. We saved that out of that. What can you do? This way it opens right along your vehicle as you put a magnet to collect moisture behind it and it'll so we will continue now. again thanks to that dear sweet baby boy of mine he did amazing are those next yeah. but we aren't gonna make y'all see that twice because that's painful as it is so we'll touch back base onward outward when we get this uh this other side taken off then we'll start washing oh, right boom done this side was much harder because I think this side saw more sun. Did, you could. Did these he did all the little ones, but you could tell this is a little more sun baked. And then look, look at these dog scratches, and these scratches, and these scratches. Oh, pitiful! But we'll bring it around, all right, big fellers. Now to wash it, and we'll see how it looks. It's really hot right now. So my camera's been heating up. So we'll probably skip the time lapse of it and I'll just hit up you fellers when I'm done with it. You see that's in a little better shape than it was. Well, I say that, kinda. That's right. So here we go. Our choice in chemicals is Black Magic Tire Cleaner. Best in the business right here for any type of grease. Your motor, whatever, it'll, it'll do it. And your aluminum brightener from Napa, this plain Jane. I'm going to show y'all as we have gotten part of the truck clean and looking a lot better, the power of some of these chemicals. So here's the aluminum brightener. We're just spritzing it. 
the sprayer on it is the one complaint I actually have. It'll get jammed sometimes. You see it working right there? Already trying to clean it off. There. Got that with that. Take our bleach white. Go all around the Michael lens. Okay, now we're gonna take our sprayer. You see how bad that brake dust is? You can see where it's cleaned off a little bit for me pressure washing. But look at this. Look at that. And the tires. Now this pressure washer is just a rinky dink electric, so it's not the most powerful one I've owned, but somehow I keep breaking all my gas ones. Don't know how that happens. So I go with the black magic again. Spritz the fritz here. And just hit it one more time. And there you go. Never been so impressed by a chemical such as either of these. I haven't used them on the channel for all, nearly two years I've been doing it. And uh, yeah, more power to them. So if y'all ever wanna give a fella a sponsorship, let me know. We can sure use it. But let's, let's continue on our cleaning process. So I was here just a, a wash in and saw this. Hmm. That's just fine. We don't need to worry about that one bit. Nope, bushings are new, so it's fine. Hi, I'm Tyler Dylan Cox, and I am your lead host on the hit YouTube television show, TC Finds. And our big 2,000 subscriber announcement is that we are going to Tuscan, Arizona for the duct tape drags, and we are bringing the Super Sammy. Be there or be square. Be there. Where are you to win it or lose either way? Huckam Lamb! There you have it. I deleted the hood uh, insulation. She needs a good cut. Um, and buff, but I think it looks a thousand times better than it did minutes ago. Man, I cleaned this like 67 times. It's like stained almost. Um, it actually has a reflection now. I think we definitely made a difference overall, but we are definitely going to need to do some type of corrective measures on the paint. The bumper is full of scratches and the clear is peeling. Clear is peeling here and all over the hood and the roof. Little bits in here. This I think I'm just gonna leave because I really don't want to deal with it. The interior, for those of you that don't know, the paint code is the PMT right there, PR4. So I'm gonna get some Duplicolor and we'll use it to address the little things, maybe a paint pen. Oh man, this is smooth to touch now. And then maybe a little bit up here, we'll hit it. But then for the clear, I think we're gonna try to use the vice grip 
patina for at least the roof, the little bits here, and uh, the hood. And I happen to already have some. And then we move on to the interior. Good night. It's honestly not bad, but it's not good either. Um, look how dirty that is, and that's all on the inside. If that helps you understand the severity that is here, but is not. <sighs> so yeah, this is all I'm going to do for today. It's getting way too hot to be doing it. Oh, and then I also want to get new headlights because like that one's just a brook. It's a brook. LEDs, new. There's already LED bulbs in here. They're brighter than heaven. And, uh, oh yeah, we have to fix our strip there that we made, made, but we couldn't help it. This side been repainted and you could tell because you see right here, there's that little line that runs through there. And that's the difference. You can see this is original. That is not original. Um, and that's a repaint. And the other side I think is all original. I need to go to a real car wash with a real pressure washer to get those tires all the way clean. So yeah, this is this is all we're gonna do today for part one or step one. Step two, interior, and yeah, we'll go from there. So we'll see you next day I work on this. Dang, she looks like a million bucks. It's in the evening later. And uh, we're gonna try to clean the interior up this evening, at least a little bit. One lead. Are those both out for happenstance? Hmm. Must be. I stashed the key down here somewhere. Aha. Wonder if we still have a transmission or what? Oh, I could deal with that. Three pumps. Oh, yes. Prime. Perfect, oh my gosh, it's dark in here. There we go. Man. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. We still may be low on fluid. We'll let it idle for a while in neutral and then check it. We'll pull up to the house where we got a plug see the sun's going down we can maybe get a little something accomplished hear that little sound sorry darkness has come upon us now the compressor ain't happy i'm sure you can hear it but i'm gonna check the transmission fluid and see if it's bad so i know it's hard to see but uh yeah nothing on the dipstick so we're gonna add a little more fluid to that because with dodges you are supposed to check trans fluid um where does it say idling in neutral oh there so that's good all right gang we're back at it in the daytime and let's just see stanky 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 more vacuum more wipe more vacuum, more white, and uh, we'll get this thing knocked out. So I'm vacuuming, cleaning, feeling pretty good. I'm like, okay, we're making some headway. I haven't really touched that. And I pull the seat forward and then look at all that. That. More vacuum, more vacuum. Alrighty, so she has cleaned out enough for our poipuses. A lot better than before. Carpet's actually kind of clean. Seats are actually kind of clean. But one thing I don't like is the stance. She don't dance because she's so high in the back. So I bought something to remedy that. And that's called drop shackles. Let's put them on. So here they are. They look like any typical shackles for dropping I've seen. Wonder if they fit. Let's compare. Oh, we gotta go. Gotta go way in there. All right. Ah, let's see. So there's our factory one. And 
this sucker will go in place right there. Well, that's easy enough, and it shouldn't put us in our bump stop right there. We should have, you know, we'll be there, but not there, you know. Well, this should be easy enough. We'll jack the front of the truck up. Unbolt. Okay, there's a spot on that side. Cool. But to pull the bolts out. Okay, let's evaluate here. Those coming from the inside. So to remove them, said bolt. Oh Lord. And this is why things are difficult. And it's hard to do things. But we'll we'll get it. Don't let me forget to tighten that bolt in the front A arm. Yeah. Well I'll do that too. So if things go completely as planned, which they always do of course. <laughs> Am I turning the whole bolt? Oh, no, I'm not. Now I am. Great. I don't even know where I was going. If they go as planned, we won't have to take the trailer hitch off. But as we saw on the Ram Charger when we lowered it, we made it work to not take it off because that's got a gas tank there and a bigger pain. But this is probably going to be just the same way. Great. Oh, good news. One of the trailer hitch bolts, it's already pretty loosened. That's always a good thing. This thing's got a lot of loose bolts. So what would you do? Would you keep this truck? I've debated it, but could really use the money for other projects. And on top of that, could trade it for a first-gen Dodge Diesel. Maybe. Well, there goes that bolt going right on through, and we should have things drop or something. Yeah. We're going to hit the hitch. Well, we are We are very close. We are very close. That's what she said. And there you have it. Notice the trailer hitch. It was super easy. All right. So friends, this way you could see the comparison. Stock, not stock. You see, you end up the higher, you have two options, but if you go up yonder, gets you that much lower. These will put in the truck for the new owner who may want to make it back to stock hide. We don't play those games here. We like to ruin things. So now, if I'm able, fun thing to do instead of taking it from the inside where you put back your bolt out, you do this number, slide your nut in, wrench, and for the guy who wants to put it back to stock height, well, it's easier for him. So we're going to assemble and disassemble and see the aftermath. Whew. Well, that was actually pretty easy. I did not put the trailer hitch back in because you see that big ugly square hanging low underneath the back bumper? It isn't pretty. 
I could keep that trailer hitch for myself if I do decide to sell this truck. And if I don't decide to sell this truck, I could put it back on. But really, this truck is just nice enough where it shouldn't really be work. Yeah, maybe if you're a guy with a garden and need mulch. Well, not even. You'll need your trailer for that. Maybe to take the lawnmower to get service. But this truck belongs to someone who should know how to do those things. Anyways, time for the big reveal. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Has a little rake still. Just a little. But it's not, you know, <clears throat> it's not doing this. It's doing... Those look terrible on me, probably. Oh, yeah. It just closes that wheel arch a bit more and really just does a lot of good. I ended up being able to only flip the bottom bolt around um, because the other one, it uh, probably hit the frame. And if we were putting the hitch back in, well, that would save one more step. Yeah, let's take it out on the road and take a real look at it on the street. pretty good. Well, let's go down to the ranch and uh, I'll show you a little project we acquired today. You can stay tuned for it. This is what it's all about. Taking a truck that would have been, you know, driven to its demise with no fluid in it and making it into your truck again. The fact of the matter is now that we've taken it to this point, we'll go ahead and do the next step in the next episode to see what this We'll work on paint correction and trying to make it clear, look clear again using that Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice stuff, clear coat. Some new lights, and just a few finishing touches. Maybe an exhaust or a muffler. Probably not. It stopped. So we wow, wow, wow. Blam! This is a 1965 Ford F100 that I happened to buy this very morning, mind you, for $300 on Marketplace. I call that a steal. But before we could get to it, I'm about to pull plugs and put PB Blaster down the holes and we're all going to cross our fingers. So we'll see you next time on TC Finds and we'll address the paint on this or maybe start fixing that or who knows what we're going to do next. But pretty soon we will see you in Tucson, Arizona with the Super Sammy, which will be alive and I don't want to say well, but it'll be alive and we'll do something fun. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. No, I hardly play.